start this guy off, I have got to get the shape right. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use that plain brown with small brush. The reason why I'm doing that is so I can like at least draw it out a little bit, okay? And this is just a rough sketch, so no perfection needed, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and just try to get like at least the idea of what I'm trying to do here. And then we'll start getting into the knit grit details. But for now, as you can see, I've got my general shape. Now right here is where I'm gonna go ahead and just make an obvious change to the painting and start adding a little bit more depth and detail right there. That's it. All right, so that's the general shape. The rest is just filling it in. So let's get started. Let me head over to a larger size brush and I'm gonna go ahead and paint around it black just to add a nice dramatic effect. I'm using acrylic paint, it's a very basic acrylic paint. Not very expensive, very easy to find. And as you can see, it does a great job. The black always does a great job covering any painting up <laughs> or any canvas up. You can see it just immediately just takes over a painting. And that's what makes it such a fun color to work with. Um, reason being, because it adds a lot of dramatic effect to your painting. As you can see, it looks a lot different with this compared if I were just to leave it plain white. And just blot in the rest of the, get rid of those little canvas dots you might see. And then you can even hit up some of the sides. Just tap it on the side, boom. That's it. Get your edges there. And again, it's all three little, uh, just dramatic color. All right, so done with that. <clears throat> so now you can see we're still gonna be drawing. So you usually use a smaller brush to draw with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just make the obvious here. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a sharp beak. Now, again, this is gonna be fixed completely, but what we wanna do is at least find the just of where these all are going to be all right and as you can see i'm making the eye sockets right here but a lot of people will look at this and be like oh my gosh this is very elementary how are you going to make this happen well the trick is just don't lose faith all right just keep it going you're going to add so many different layers on top of this it's going to change everything all right so just keep going with the flow and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna add some base colors. I'm gonna go ahead and add some tan going around the edges here. Just a little bit of tan. Got a nice bit of flow. And you know, you just try to stay a little bit away from the black. But as you can see, your tan is coming around here. Now, again, you want to add some probably like dramatic areas, so we're going to add some more of that later on. You'll see what, I'm, what I mean when we do that. But here, we've already know that this is going to be our body down here. All right, and what you can do is you can just start shaping it out. Just start making this start to come to life. And these are just base layers, guys. Nothing special. The only thing that really makes it special is that we're starting to like get your attention to the coloring and depth and what is about to become of this painting. All right, now we wanna add a nice little bit of lineage right here. It's kind of important to start knowing what you're painting you know get a good visual of it you know because eventually you want you're going to want to add highlights and low lights and all sorts of things just to like change the really the dramatic picture of whatever you're painting 
So get a good feel. You know, just just like take it all in. See what you see what you got. See what you can come up with. All right. You'll start seeing that like each painting is so different. And that's what makes it so special. Every brush stroke is so different. Don't worry about perfection and things like that. Especially when you're doing some like detail stuff. I mean, that that makes it difficult. If you're a perfectionist, try your best to let it go. Just let it go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just make some brown brush strokes down here. But what I'm doing is now, you can see I'm making some separation and you're starting to see something come to life now. And that's what's so important. That's what you wanna start seeing is this like, is this forming something? Right now, you can already tell what it's probably gonna be, but you know, that's where your details come in. So I, I again, I used a pretty big brush with that, with uh, a lot of those steps. And you're gonna wanna just, you know, kinda just get a good feel of whatever works best for you. All right, so again, we're gonna add some like highlights just coming, pouring out of here. And you're gonna add different layers. There's gonna be a lot of layers. Okay, again, I don't, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna add some cream, a very light cream underneath here. And it's okay if you happen to go over some of your dark areas, just go with the flow. And, okay, look at that. I am just, like I said, just really, just having some fun with it. Not overthinking it, but really just starting to get a grasp on where I want to take this painting. And that's the beauty of it. Okay, look at that. Now we're gonna eventually, yeah, we're, we are gonna add some contrast. We are gonna change this whole thing up. This thing is gonna be like, whoa, what the heck? Where did this come from kind of thing? Um, but for now, like I said, we're just getting the basics, just learning our paints. And that's a fun, fun step is the uh, basic parts of it and breaking it all down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some big brush strokes down here. Grandma, this one's for you. I'm so happy to do this. I know your love for owls is like, that's been for years. And anything I can do for you is a win in my book. Like I said, I am so happy to be able to do something like this for you. Anytime. Should have done this years and years ago. But with years comes knowledge and comes all these different things that we learn over time. All right, it's getting there. It's coming together. Look at those basics. I love it. So to add like dramatic things, you're gonna really, okay, we can of course go to black, but we wanna wanna add some grays and stuff. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of black and white together. And let's get this dude's beak going. Okay, it is a very sharp beak. Okay, and as you can see, it's just basic. And then we're gonna add some of those grays. I'm just taking the leftover swoops on my brush and just adding some of those random gray brush strokes in different areas because we will use a lot of the leftover paint on some of our, but I, I guarantee you can see start, start to see this owl. Now it is coming into focus a little bit more and more with each brush stroke and with each bit of color that we add. And you can see this gray just adds a little bit more depth. It makes it look a little bit more timeless. Whew. Love it. 
clean off your brushes anytime you want. Mess around with it. Okay. All right, let's add a little bit more, a little bit more of a contrasting black right here. And we're gonna add it on this side so that you can showcase your highlights and lowlights for this beak. Pretty sweet. Okay. And really, essentially, what you'd like to do is probably start on an area. I, I've seen artists like where they start in a certain area and then just like make their way over to different areas. But you find your comfort zone. You find what what works best for you. some highlights over here just so you can start seeing that depth come to life look at that it is so fun just to mess with this and add all these different layers Ooh -hoo -hoo. this owl is starting to come together All those feathers, little brush strokes. All right, we're gonna keep this party going. Add some of these dark browns in. And when you start adding more of the dark stuff, you can start to see, wow, look at the impact that this has. You can see. Ooh, really, really pretty. This stuff is starting to happen with this painting. Man, I love this. I love it. Let's do some dark around here. Just give him a nice bit of depth in his little owl self. Very lightly touching the painting too. I know I mentioned that a few times, but you know, you, you definitely gotta just very lightly get used to these brushes. All right. Uh, it's so fun like sometimes you just want to leave the eyes alone into the last part but you know sometimes you just need to you know get to the point and really just have you know a little bit of fun so again we're using a very very saturated rich color that can take over this painting so you got to be careful with your black and I would say use a smaller brush you know, because it really, like I said, it, it you can see I'm like being pretty careful with it. I'm I'm act, I am going a little bit faster than normal, just so you can see. Um, but what you can do is make these eyes very big. Okay, and we're gonna make this guy very big. And we'll add some detail onto that. But there you go, the just of your eyes. Whew. This owl is looking regal. Right. 
I'm still using the same brush, by the way. I haven't even switched brushes. It's like pretty impressive what you can like start, you know, doing once you start messing around with these brushes. But I, you know, for again a little bit more of a quickness kind of deal, and just to show you how quick you can make some of these paintings come alive, you know, I wanted to like just keep the brushes pretty simple for you. But feel free to use whatever you like. You're the artist. coming together little by little those eyes are still kind of messed up so you want to keep keep polishing off those you know um, you want to add your little highlights of course that helps with just a little bit of a glossy finish but you know I've got this like really pretty um, yellowish color that you can even add and we're going to attempt to do this near the black, which is a little scary to me. And we're going to go ahead and sweep a little bit around this eye here. There you go. <laughs> it's always a scary thing when you're starting to add these little details. But your end result can really shine. there and we'll keep it going I'm gonna keep this thing like we are gonna add so much layers to this hot owl and just have fun with it just this is such a great painting to like you know just practice with practice your colors practice all your stuff with okay you can see some of these owls have a little bit more of a of a, you know coming down here and then you can just go back and forth between your highlights and your low lights look at that see I'm just like adding a little bit of brown coming down yeah and that's how you start getting that depth super chill And bring some of these little feathers out here. Break up, you know. Some, you know, you want to see some of those imperfections start to come out and into the black. It gives it that illusion that you know you've got a little bit more depth. Mm -hmm. And even, like I said, don't be afraid of your color. Add, keep adding more and more. Like add some of that yellow out here with some white and use it to your advantage, you know, just play around with your color. This is all improv but it shows what you can do in, I don't know what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe, if you're pushing it. Still wanna keep adding more dramatic things. I, I'm such a big fan of like the, you know, the, the um, contrast and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna add more a little bit more blacks and browns. And I'm just not stopping. I'm using the same exact brush I've used for the highlights, the low lights, everything you can think of. I'm like, I'm just still using the same exact brush. And then I'm gonna add some little bit more in here. Separate some of those highlights and layer the heck out of this thing. I'm still going. Let's 
contour these eyes a little bit better. That's the cool thing about those owls, man. They got some eyes on them. Boy, did they have some eyes. So this looks like start to finish here, guy. Still going strong. I still believe in this owl. So you can see I'm breaking apart this owl little by little, chopping away, adding contrast and color, and it's forming. With all these different brush strokes I'm doing, it's forming this awesome, beautiful animal. And then this adds some sweet white right there. All right, so you can see the eyes are a little, you know, imperfect, and that's when you want to start bringing in your smaller brushes. All right, um, take a look at what you've got, and you want to just really just add those little bit of details to you, you know, and you can draw with a brush, whatever you've got. It would just help you make those finer lines. this owl in only a half an hour if that I don't think we even hit that mark yet it's just amazing what you can make very quickly with paint I am so blown away every time I do a painting I'm like man you know like sometimes like you're just like wow how can I make that so quickly you know but sometimes you can you know just you know you don't have to have perfection and you know so, so many artists want that I always teach that it's okay not to have perfection and you know sometimes I like it even better because it makes it a little bit more realistic for me you know and then like I said you, you know you could spend days and days doing this but I'm here to show you that you did. sometimes it doesn't take that long. All right, perfect. Okay, so we got some pretty, pretty cool color in there. I mean, you know, it's an owl. We know what's up. All right, and you can always just go back and once that paint dries, add more highlights onto it, low lights, whatever you want, and just keep having fun with the process. Just practice with your paints, break it up, add some lines. This is just, you know it's always practicing always practicing just having some fun with it and it just gives you kind of like something fun to do for you know a half an hour or so but there you go a little bit of owl action so hopefully you enjoyed that and grandma like always love you so much and this painting is dedicated to you